former CCC leader Nelson Chamisa has shown up three weeks after dumping the ZANU-PF infiltrated opposition. Chamisa was Thursday seen at the Namibian embassy in Harare, paying his condolences following the death of the country's president. Hage Gengo, who passed away on February 4 this year, speaking to journalists after he signed a condolence book at the Namibian embassy, Chamisa said he was representing millions of Zimbabweans who support him. He said, I am here precisely representing the people of Zimbabwe who believe in the alternative and who have supported and continue to support me. You are aware that we recently held our elections. The August 23, 2023 elections. Over 2 million people voted. It is those voices I carry, so I don't need a political party as I come. It's not about politics, it's about honoring a giant. You are aware that President Hage Gangab was familiar to me, in my capacity as a leader, as a young African, but more importantly in the context of SADC. So I am here to pay my condolences to this giant, to this great icon, to this doyen of democracy, to the man who contributed so much, not just to Namibia but also to Africa, and not just to Africa but to humanity. He made a difference. He was a Democrat. He was a believer in justice and freedom, and he did not arrest opponents. He did not incarcerate those who differed with him. He held elections without undermining their integrity. He observed the guidelines on elections within SADC. So for that reason we honor him, and we are coming here to pay our tribute to the great giant and to say that he has laid the framework. He has created the path, and ours is to walk in his footsteps. Quizzed on his next move after resigning from CCC which he founded in January 2022, Chamisa said, Once we are ready. Like I said, I am going to give Zimbabweans a clear direction. Chamisa announced his resignation and dissociation from CCC on January 25th, saying the party had been infiltrated and hijacked by ZANU-PF through its proxies.